I mean, how can you really work when you got somebody looking over your shoulders the whole time? I hope you don't bite me. Yeah, so I'm a good guy. Don't you be nibbling on his ears. So what we're out here doing today, you can kind of tell we got a form set up for concrete. That'll be done another day. But basically, this is a cattle water system. So they're going to have multiple cattle waters out here. And uh, this is our original plumbing. It goes over there to that yard hydrant right there. And then the wire follows there. And then the wire is what continues on up the trench to the house, to the breaker panel. And then another company is going to come in a few weeks. And they're going to trench <clears throat> up to here. And then they'll have to dig underneath the concrete pad to the uh, two chase pipes that I put there. And they'll have to bust through there and slide their pipe up and then tee into the unit. So I'm going to go ahead here and finish up doing up my primary plumbing. And then head under the house. And we will staple the wire to the floor joist and run the breaker and get the system fired up. All right, so the system is completely hooked up. So we've got our water here coming out of the well, going down, going into the tank T, pressure switch, gauge. We've got our anti-siphon device on the bottom of our boiler drain. We got a main on and off. I do not like gate valves. Ball valves are a lot better. They don't die. And we're gonna come here, we're gonna 90 up. We're gonna 90 over. We 90 down, it goes over there to the hydrant. And then when the plumber comes to install the cattle water systems, they're gonna bring their pipes up through our chase pipe here, and they will tee somewhere into this pipe. On to the house. So we got our wire, a little piece of conduit. We took our hammer drill, drilled a nice hole through the foundation. I'm gonna take this piece here, straighten it out a little bit. I'll feed it right on in. Since we got a block, we gotta make sure we hit the other side. And there it goes. God damn it. There we go. Are you there? Hello, Clarice. It's nice to see you again. Alright, got the wire all nice and tight. We're gonna take this conduit and we're gonna feed it through both blocks. And then now it's protected on both sides from this gravel as per the inspector. Okie dokie. Oh, take that bend out of it. Big spider. I found all sorts of shit under people's houses, man. Hey, the job site you missed had like cat, cat feces everywhere, man. It was gross. It was absolutely disgusting. Is this the duck work, or do you got another one? Oh, you got, yeah, multiple. Okay. All right. It's all good. What I'll do, I'll follow you. And then you stay there at the end, and I'll pull it back. And take this. I'll feed it over every damn thing. Ugh. Okay. This one's next. On this side. We'll run it right with these. Say what? Yeah. Yeah, it'll make nailing it easier for sure. There's our delightful hole we have to get it through. Pull a little tighter. 
All right, and now for the process of stapling. Hoorah! Go ahead and uh, take the wire and hold it straight up against the wall. Oh. And I'll go ahead and pop a staple in it. Yeah, we'll go there, and then I'll just put it here. Take it, move it over to the left toward your head. A little bit more. There we go. You know how much better homes were. I'm probably need one right here somewhere. Yes. All right, here you go. Hammer. I'm trying to hold it up for you. Okay. Get the right angle on it. It's good. Perfect. All right. Continue the process all the way down. Some crawl space action. Once you get it almost tight, pull the wire taut. There you go. Perfection. <laughs> cool. All the extra wire. Got a breaker panel here. Gonna open this bad boy up. Oh lord, she's full. No, I'm all right right now. We gotta. Luckily, we have two spots for 240 volt. So we're gonna come here with our flex conduit and go right up into the bottom of this. Go ahead and take this panel off next. But it's actually been kind of cool in some ways. Danger. High so voltage. Small. He's not a dumbass. He's pretty small. They did a pretty job wiring that. <laughs> Okay, so got a nice conduit. We're gonna take a little caulk, put a little caulking around that. Kind of goes up, got a transition coupling here. Got a wire, it goes up, follows up. Boom, got a breaker in. Now we're just gonna flip it on. System runs. Locating these. Um, he's just gonna dig down. He's gonna, that'll be poured and he'll dig up to the side of the pad. Got it. And he'll have to dig underneath the pad and then stick like a bar through and bust the dirt out. Okay. Got and it. then he'll, it'll come right through. Yeah, you take one in the log a bit. <clears throat> yeah, it's if he has one, but. So the uh, electric didn't give you any problem? Mm -mm. Nice. <clears throat> oh man. Dusty under that house. Oh, yeah. Nice and strong. That's awesome. My plants will appreciate that a lot more. We got uh, city water. Yeah. we put a little cement around it. So what I like to do is get it wet. Yeah. yeah that way the cement sets up. <clears throat> uh -huh. Good idea. Grass seed on this be back oh yeah, a little bit of hay, a little bit of grass, you'll be ready to go. See, it won't stick to your finger if you put a little spit on your finger, and your finger's wet, then you can mold it. Make it look nice and pretty. Good deal. All right, well, she's all buttoned up out here. We open up our sample port. This is what we call our threadless sample port because uh, as per North Carolina rule, they don't want you being able to hook a garden hose up to it. And that's where they take their water sample from. And then down here, we do have a threaded one, but they make us put this little piece on which is called an anti-siphon device so it'll only allow water to come out but not back in open that water comes out got 50 psi on the gauge everything's looking pretty good 
Well guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, we're out here on this guy's farm. He's got it really looking good. So I had to make sure that our work matched the rest of his work. But you can't do nothing half-ass. A lot of people can, but I just refuse to. So if you like the content, please give it a thumbs up and go ahead and smash that subscribe button. I'm on my journey to 100,000 subscribers and only you can make that happen. Thank y'all for watching.